Now, another weakness for expatriates is gossip. If ever you've been in an expatriate community overseas, you know, where you've got a bunch, bunch of Scots or a bunch of English in the Persian Gulf or somewhere, you know what happens. They, they have a club and all the gossip that goes on in that club. People far from home find in gossip their little community. And James understands this only too well. And he has an awful lot to say about the tongue and about words. He said, you use the same tongue to bless people and curse them. He says, it's like bitter and sweet water coming out of the same fountain. And then he says this, you know, I once heard of a vicar who said in the pulpit, I'm now going to show you that part of my body that causes me most temptation. <laughs> well, he certainly got attention. That's, <laughs> that's uh, very good rhetoric. And then he went... And the point came across, <laughs> they never forgot the sermon. But James says, that little thing, that's the hardest part of your body to control. And he said, if you can control that, you're a perfect man. So here's a ready reckoner for how holy you are. Just consider your speech. That's all, because it's out of the abundance of the heart that your mouth speaks. That's why Jesus said, we shall be judged on the day of judgment for every careless word, because it's the careless words when you're tired that really reveal your real heart, not your careful speech when you're thinking about what to say. Do you know some people are so scared of things like the gift of tongues because they're so used to controlling everything they say. They're scared stiff of saying something that they haven't carefully thought through. But you know it's the careless words, the words when you're tired or angry that really reveal what your heart is. And this little thing, it has been set on fire by hell, said James. And it's like a little ship's rudder, but it can turn the whole ship. It's like a forest fire that started with one match. You know, there was a, a lady in France went to her priest to confession Saturday night, and she said, Father, I've realized I'm a gossip. Please can I be forgiven? And the priest said, not until you've done penance. She said, I'll do anything. What do I have to do? He said, go and pluck the feathers off two chickens and bring them here in a bag. So she brought a bag full of feathers to the church. And the priest said, good, that's half the penance. Now there's another half. Go and throw them to the four winds. Go down the village street and just throw them up in the air. So she went. She came back. She said, now can I be forgiven? No, he said, there's just one more thing. Go and pick them all up again. She said, but I can't. No, he said, and you can't go and pick up all the gossip you've done in this village. You've been scattering gossip all over this village and you'll never be able to catch up with it. Well, it's a good story. <laughs> I read it, <laughs> you know. Was that true or were you just preaching? I don't know, but it's a good story. Gossip, the tongue, it can be so damaging. And you are really entirely sanctified when you always say the right thing and when you keep silent when you should be and when you speak up when you should. Because just keeping your mouth shut all the time isn't having mastered your speech. There are times when we ought to speak out and don't. There are times when we ought to shut up and speak out. So grumbling, cursing, lying, swearing are all mentioned in this little letter.